G'day viewers, it's Mike McHugh here again and I am more excited than usual because it's upon us. Adobe CS3 is officially launched today. It's Tuesday here in Australia and the festivities have begun in earnest. I'm sitting in my hotel room in Adelaide getting ready to do a launch party presentation but as we speak the festivities have begun. I was just outside a moment ago and took some footage with my camera of the uh, goings-on here in Australia. It's going to be a huge party. I'm looking forward to doing my presentation this evening to a bunch of people over here in Adelaide. It's going to be really great. I have got the very first of many CS3 tips coming up straight after you see a little bit of the action and the festivities here. So hold on to your hats because CS3 is upon us and let's get excited about it. Come on! Okay, we're starting off in the Adobe Bridge, but we're going to have a look at some interface changes to the Creative Suite. I'm going to go ahead and press Apple or Control Tab just to show you these new icons which we have for CS3. So the Bridge, InDesign, Flash, CS3, Device Central, our new piece of software, Adobe Illustrator CS3, Photoshop CS3 Extended, that is and Dreamweaver, and of course, this is just my little piece of software so I can highlight things. Okay, what is going on here? This is Flash. Have a look at the toolbar. Have a look at the way I can click this into a two-column toolbar. Have a look at the panels over here. And you might be thinking, hey, but that's, that's Flash. Um... I don't know anything about Flash. Is that new? I don't know. Well, it is new. Let me tell you that. Let's go over to ooh, uh, InDesign. We'll make a new page in InDesign so you can see what's going on. Have a look at the interface here. Toolbar. Long, skinny, wide, very similar looking to Flash, isn't it? Let's put this back to our default workspace. And here are the panels. And we call them panels now rather than palettes. But we can scooch them all over to the side and then simply click on them and the panels pop out as we need them. I actually prefer my panels like this because I can see them horizontally like that. If that's taking up a little too much space for you, why not grab this little hand, there's some little handles at the top here. Why not grab these little handles, drag them over and have the icon view. And let's just extend our window out. So now the icon view, we can simply assume that that's going to be swatches, the color. Click it. Out they pop. Click the strokes. Out they pop. In their little sets, the way that we're used to in InDesign. Pages. Neat thing about pages, it shows you a thumbnail now of what's on your page. So if we went ahead and say drew, I want to know something. I don't like doing training with boxes, but there you have it. Click on here. There's my box. We get a little preview of what's on each page. It is just wonderful. There's so many fantastic enhancements to InDesign. I can't wait to show you those as well. But to show you the consistency between the suite is what I want to show you here. Let's go ahead and tab over to Illustrator. I still have the startup screen going on Illustrator. How embarrassing. But again, Illustrator, swatches. There's the new color guide. Okay, brushes, symbols, greatly improved symbols, transparency, and the 
appearance icon down the bottom here. We're simply clicking on them. Again, we can pop them all out and see them in all of their glory and then slide them back again. What about Photoshop, you might say. Surely they're a little different. No, they're not. In Photoshop, again, expand your palettes, collapse your palettes, expand them. Sorry, panels. I've got to get used to that. Extend them out by dragging them out so we can read them while we're getting used to it. Once we get used to what the icons mean, we'll be able to simply pop them back over to the side. And again, two column toolbar, single column toolbar, just to clean up that interface so it's all looking very familiar. So Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Flash, all similar interfaces, similar panels, similar toolbars. It all looks pretty good. We're going to have a look at these other ones a little bit later on. So from now on, the Creative Suite, these are the applications that we're going to be looking at. How fantastic. I just can't wait. How fantastic does all that look? I bet you can't wait to see a little bit more. Uh, and I've been working hard and I have got a whole bunch of podcasts all queued up, ready to go and put on my website and on iTunes. Incidentally, my iTunes RSS feed has changed. So if you've been having trouble getting on to the podcast via iTunes, I suggest going to my website and subscribing again and that will sort everything out from now on. I had bandwidth troubles, so I was getting too many downloads, but now it's A-OK. -okay. So get on there and you can start downloading. I think I had like 1,700 downloads in two days. That's two days. Unbelievable. CS3, get excited. I've got a whole bunch of stuff happening on my website for CS3. There's forums on there. If you've got any questions, I want you to get on there. And please, if you're on iTunes, if you're on YouTube, or if you're on VO, leave some comments for me and give us a good rating if you think the show's any good. I think that would be wonderful. So thank you very much.